Hi everyone, Jessica here. I'm a fitness model from Miami and I'm so excited to take you through this workout. I created it just for beginners. So regardless of your fitness level, you can take advantage of this fat burning ab workout. You can do it right from home and it's gonna take about 10 minutes. Now before we get started, if you check out the website below, it's got my superfood plant-based meal plan. Now for anybody that's looking to get serious results, we know that everything comes down to nutrition. So make sure that you check that out. Now let's go ahead and begin the workout. It's really important that for this exercise, you really focus on keeping your lower back on the ground. So make sure that you're feeling your spine touch the ground. If that requires you having to tuck your hips under, do that, make that adjustment, and know that for everything that we're going to do, that is your starting point. So from here, I want you to bring your knees in, and now I want you to let one leg out one at a time. In and out. Now depending on your level, this can be hard for you, just bringing that leg out. So I want you to focus on see how low you can bring it without allowing your lower back to come off the ground. So keeping the spine glued to the floor. So right here, you can put your, put your hands behind your neck for support. Now if you want to kick it up a notch, you can go faster while maintaining that spine on the floor. If this is too hard for you, relax your head down and then you can go with your feet higher. So this is kind of like our starting phase to teach you how to do bicycle crunches. So for the bicycle, now you will add in the twist right here. So if you're advanced, move into bicycles, but again, for beginners, just right here. Keep going. So your goal is gonna be to keep going the whole time without stopping. See how low you can bring your feet. And notice that I'm extending my leg all the way out. So next, I want you to do this same motion, but having one leg up and we're switching. Now your leg might only come to right here and that's fine as long as you're keeping that lower back on the ground. That's what I want you to focus on first and then focus on making this bigger. Make sure that you're not straining your neck so you can lay it back if you need to. Having it up is going to add more resistance to your core, but I'd, I'd rather you be safe. So just right here, this is a great workout. Anything that you do utilizing your legs, it's really going to work that lower core. With, that, with other workouts, you may not be hitting. So keep going. We're going for 30 more seconds right here. Keep breathing. Remember, if you can, go all the way or halfway, find the point that is right for you. And by right, I mean that it's difficult and it's a little uncomfortable, but you still are able to keep your back on the ground. Last three, two, and one. Okay, bring your knees in. I want to move into crunches. So put your feet flat and we're going to crunch and down, crunch and down. The most important thing about this one is not straining your neck. So don't push on your neck. You're only resting your hands behind your neck and we're allowing our core to be what brings us up. So this is a tricky one because we've got to make sure that our lower back is staying on the ground. So we should feel the bulk of the tension right in that middle section. So right around your belly button. Keep going. We're going for 30 more seconds. You're doing great. These are great building blocks. 
for everything else that you're doing. Breathe. Remember how important is your breath. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Let's bring the feet up. So see if you can raise your legs all the way or if you have to have a bend on them, that's fine. And now with your hands, I want you to reach for your toes. And again, focusing on keeping your back on the ground. And reach for them. Keep your knees together. See if you can get to the point where you can actually touch your toes. But right now we're just focusing on the motion of reaching up through the core while keeping the neck relaxed. Let's go, we got 30 more seconds. Breathe in and out. Last 10, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Okay, let's have our feet back down. So now I want you to reach for your ankle. Put one hand behind your neck, raising just the top of your back, reach for it. So notice how small of a motion it is. You're gonna reach for it and then you can reset. Reach for it and reset. If you're a little bit more advanced, you can keep going for a couple and then reset. See how many you can do before your neck strains and then reset. The goal of this is really to engage the core and to be able to hit the sides of your abs too. Let's get to 15 and then let's switch sides. See if you need to do one at a time like this or if you can get a couple in before you got a reset. That's how you can tell your progress is maybe first you can do two and then reset and then you can do three and like that. But make sure you're keeping your lower back flat on the ground. Awesome work. So next I want you to go on your side. You can be on your elbow or you can be all the way down. Find out what's gonna work better for you. And from there, you're gonna reach your leg up. So you're gonna feel it on the side. Let's go to 15. Try to go as high as you can. Breathe. Give me five more. All right, let's do another 15, but now with the knee to the elbow. See how much you can reach for it. See if you can actually touch it. If you can only go right here, that's okay. But keep working on trying to bring it all the way up. It's gonna work on your hip flexibility, your mobility. It's gonna allow you to do other workouts too. Five more. Take your time with this one too. Don't feel like you have to rush. Last one. All right, let's go to the other side. So 15 with the leg straight and then 15 with the leg bent. So this one is like the warm up to the next one. 
See how high you can go with your leg. If you can only go right here, that's okay. Just keep working on bringing it higher. Five more. Breathe. All right, let's switch it. So now knee to elbow. And extend all the way out. Breathe. Last five. There we go, all done. There you have it. That was a 10 minute ab workout specifically for beginners. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you were able to get through the entire thing and know that you can always continue to build on that. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. And remember, if you're really looking to improve your health, if you need help with what meal plan to follow, I actually created a superfood meal plan and you can check it out on the website below. Take care.